Indeed. We have so blue skies cool. today, though. I know that. Yeah. I, you know, I was thinking they can sting, but they're not dangerous. So this thing feel like a nice little tickle? Is it like a pleasant sensation? A it's a nice thing? Yes, <laughs> it's not know. a dangerous thing. I'll take, I'll take their word for it. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. No sting exactly. for me. Yeah, blue skies <laughs> over the blue button jellyfish today. It was a beautiful day down the shore, beautiful day in the city as well. We are headed near record territory, though, for tomorrow as temperatures head into the middle 80s at least for one day and then it's going to start to feel like fall a little bit more. Let's take a look outside once again to Center City where it's a clear, calm and cool night. No problems out there. Skies are clear and lower humidity today means temperatures will be dropping a little bit lower tonight than they did last night. So getting pretty comfy by tomorrow morning. A look locally on Storm Scan 3. Nothing to see there, but take a look at a cold front. Couldn't really see this earlier. There wasn't much extending from the storm system over the Great Lakes, but now you can see it pretty clearly. A line of showers and thunderstorms. A couple of severe thunderstorm warnings with this, but it looks like this storm will kind of lose a lot of its strength by the time it gets here tomorrow. Not expecting this to produce much, if anything, in the way of severe weather, but any thunderstorm, as we know, can be dangerous with lightning, heavy rain, and even the potential for some gusty winds. At noon tomorrow, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful start to the day. The clouds really start to gather about 4 o'clock, and then notice a couple of scattered showers, a couple of thunderstorms. They're not everywhere, and again, it doesn't look like they're severe, but Again, you don't want to be outside in any thunderstorm, even if it's not severe. 10 o'clock tomorrow night, a few showers around the city. And then after midnight tomorrow night, these move on out. The front sags to the south. And Friday, we draw in this cooler, drier air from the north. It is going to be a noticeably different kind of day on Friday. And to feel completely different than tomorrow's heat and humidity. Tomorrow's forecast at high, 85 degrees. The record is 88. That was set back in 1941. We'll get pretty close to it within three degrees of that record and all across the region temperatures in the low to mid 80s tomorrow. And then we missed out on some of this weather in September. We started September with a heat wave. Then, of course, we had all the rain. So we're kind of making up for lost time. It's not October weather, but, you know, we didn't get it in September, so we're getting it now. But why is it so warm? Well, we've got a persistent area of low pressure over the west, high pressure over the east, and that pattern is going to stay right into next week. So the warm air is not going anywhere for a while. Mainly clear and calm overnight at 63. Tomorrow, sun early, then increasing clouds with that afternoon or evening thunderstorm. Game day forecast as we jump ahead to Sunday. Boy, I'll tell you, bring the short sleeves and drink plenty of water if you're tailgating 82 at kickoff on Sunday. Now, a brief return to fall Friday and Saturday. We're back to the low 70s, but it doesn't last long. Back to the 80s we go. Sunday, Columbus Day, Monday, and right through next week, it looks like temperatures will stay above average. Mm, so, mm, mm. hot October is underway, <laughs> and hot it's going to stay that way for oh, a while. You didn't have Thursday on there. Is that where the nor'easter hits us right there? Yeah. Is that, is there, <laughs> <laughs> right. No.